I've received quite a few emails asking about uh, the DIY mini quad and if I would be able to print and sell uh, parts of this frame and unfortunately I just don't have the time or the materials to do that. So I wanted to take you guys through a few options that you may have available if you don't have a 3D printer. So this is the top plate, the bottom plate, and the motor mount with landing gear for the design. So if you've seen this link, and I will post all these links uh, in the description above, in the, on the Garage Pilots build list, you'll notice that I've calculated roughly all these parts uh, to be $2.40. So if you have a MakerBot or any sort of 3D printer, it's relatively cheap for you to do this. But now let's take a look at Shapeways. Uh, because I received an email from one of my subscribers saying, hey, this thing is ridiculously expensive. So if you look at Shapeways, you can see that the legs are $7.11 a piece, $22.16 for the bottom plate, and $13.55. So I did the calculation. That comes out to $64.15 just for that a little quad frame. Now that's in my opinion pretty ridiculous and Shapeways prices are outrageous but you know they need to make their money and you can print it in silver if you want it for $202 so uh, definitely don't recommend uh, trying to do this through Shapeways. The other service that I've been recommending to quite a few people is called uh, MakeXYZ.com and so you can go to their home page and type in your zip code. So I'll just do mine in Austin. And what you can do is you can find different makers uh, that have 3D printers and actually gives you their price per centimeter cubed. So let's just take a look at this guy, Nathan Tone, and you'll be able to upload your STL file. And I've already gone ahead and done that. So in the case of the top plate, we're looking at 432 the bottom plate 739 and then the legs are two dollars a piece so if you were to use Nathan's services you're looking at 1971 for the total print now that was for 50 cents per centimeter cubed so it's doing the calculation based on volume now like for this guy a uh, Bill Tyler or Dale Price you can um, you can actually get that for 25 cents per centimeter cube. So you would basically be able to cut this price in half and get the frame to $9.85. And ideally you'd find someone with you know, relatively cheap price and close to you so you minimize uh, your shipping costs. That's kind of the best of both worlds. Okay, now lastly, this is a site called iMaterialize. They're based out of Belgium, and I've uploaded each of the parts here. And what's interesting to me is that uh, regardless of which part you're printing, it shows uh, $16.59. Th I'm assuming that's converted to uh, U.S. dollars, but that's $16.59 for each part, which, I mean, I won't even add that up, but you're talking uh, near, probably near $100.00 just for that setup so uh, my recommendation is if you can find someone near you and look into make xyz.com and I know there are other sites where you can upload uh, 3d models and have them printed and shipped to you and you can get all of these uh, from thingiverse.com I just wanted to share um, some different approaches you can take to uh, get access to this frame and hopefully you can do it affordably with a quick turnaround. So once again, I apologize for not being able to, you know, print these for, for you guys. But hopefully these resources have been useful. And if you come up with any others that you discover that are, are reasonable, please post them in the comments below. So I hope you find this useful. And thanks for watching.